Hector Luis Garcia versus Lamont Roach, 12 rounds in the 130 pound division for Hector Garcia's belt. This is on the undercard of David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andre. This is going to be a very nice matchup, a good, good fight. Let's get into it. Let's start with the champ Garcia. 16 wins, one loss, 10 wins by way of knockout. Man. Garcia has had quite the year last year. There's a lot of good boxers in the sport of boxing, but all of them don't get the opportunity to be seen. Garcia got his opportunity to be seen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he took the fight against Chris Colbert on short notice. You know, sometimes short notice opponents are dangerous opponents because you don't have time to really watch them or know too much about them, and they may be better than you thought. And on this night, Chris Colbert got a little bit of a surprise when he stepped into the ring to face Garcia. And for the first five rounds, fought fire with fire, right? Both men were sitting there kind of trading shots with each other. Colbert would land big shots, but then Garcia would come back and land big shots of his own. And he continued to put the pressure on Colbert and didn't let Colbert get comfortable. And the momentum really started to change for the rest of the fight in the seventh round when Colbert got dropped by a counter hook from Garcia. After that, Colbert was just very cautious, man, and, and Garcia started to have his way, right? He would have Colbert backing up on the corners and he would be throwing four or five piece combinations. Not all of the shots were heavy punches, but they were enough for the judges to say, you know what, this guy's fighting off the front foot. He's the aggressor, he's more effective, he is doing damage, and he was able to come away with the win in a upset of the year candidate you could say i thought it was one of the biggest upset of that year but it was a fight that you got to say man hey this guy is pretty good maybe this is someone that we should continue to watch out for or was this fight just a fluke after that garcia steps into the ring to fight roger gutierrez and he picked up right where he left off for the most part right but i did think he was a little bit sloppy at the beginning and towards the end of the fight he was lunging forward and leaving himself open to get hit there are moments when he did pay forward a couple times but seemed like he tightened up his defense a little bit more made the adjustment and offensively man he was getting through with the jab the body shots countering effectively keeping the fight in the center of the ring put together good combinations and he started to separate himself more and more as the rounds went on i think on the unofficial scorecards if my memory serves me correctly man they gave the first like nine rounds to Garcia but I did think Gutierrez came on late and started to let his hands go a little bit more and that's when he was starting to have a little bit more success like really landing cleanly on Garcia and if he did what he did late early in the fight who knows maybe the fight would have been a little bit different but nonetheless Garcia got the unanimous decision and it also showed that his previous fight was not a fluke he became a champion that night Right, But it also showed, man, that, hey, look, this guy is going to be here for the foreseeable future, and we need to find a way how to beat this guy. In his most recent fight, he fought Gervonta Tank Davis, right? <laughs> a tough test for anybody, right? And in that fight, I thought he fought pretty well. He was patient, but not too patient. We know Tank isn't the fastest starter, right? He knows Tank has that power and that devastating knockout anytime that a shot connects type of power and he knew he had to pick his spots and find the right openings and not get too overconfident right and not overcommit to certain things he caught tank with some nice counter shots in that third round backed him up a little bit and seemed like he caught tank by surprise he also had success with his looping shots especially on that left side but i felt like he got a little baited a little bit into fighting close right and staying in the pocket a lot more than what he needed to be because he was starting to get caught with some shots that i was kind of surprised that he took and didn't find himself on the canvas 
right? But you got to give him his respect because sometimes people fight Tank and they're intimidated, but he wasn't intimidated by Tank, man. He was taking those risks. He was trying to find a way how to get the upper hand. Tank started to pick up the pace from round six to eight, and the shots started to have a little bit more steam on them, and it started to make a little bit more impact, right? Garcia got hit with a shot that almost made him sit down like he was sitting in a chair, Almost made the man sit down. I said, whew. I said, that is a hard, hard punch. But it's not a surprise because we know Tank can do that. Garcia did his best and he had some good moments. But on that night, it wasn't enough. But I, but I think that he surprised Tank. I think he was better than Tank expected him to be. So he's obviously going to be looking to get back into the win column. It's going to be interesting to see what he learned from that fight and what he's going to implement in this fight and moving forward. But he has a tough test ahead of him. Let's talk about his opponent, Lamont Roach Jr. 23 wins, one loss, one draw, nine wins by way of knockout. After suffering his first loss of his career in 2019 against Jamel Herring, he's on a four-fight win streak, right? He's not known to be a big puncher like that, but he does have good pop. In his four most recent fight past his loss, he's won two by knockouts, uh, two by decisions. This is also his first fight of the year, so he's been inactive for a year and some change. So you won't know how that will affect him until we get into the ring and see how he's moving. When he fought Jamel, I don't think he fought badly at all, man. I thought he fought a pretty good fight. I just thought he got slightly outworked in most of the rounds and didn't take enough risk until late in the fight. I thought Jamel was very disciplined and technically sound throughout that fight. He was firing back with flurries of shots, right? And Roach was just letting off single shots at a time. He was lunging often and got himself countered by Jamel Herring. Sometimes he just looked a little bit wild because those shots was just, it was just a little bit too much coming in and not being strategic with it and just trying to land a shot to get the momentum and to try to control the moment. But he did slow things down and he did get more controlled and that's when he was starting to have success. I thought for the most part, man, every round kind of looked similar, right? He was slightly just getting out work. A few minutes throughout the rounds, man, he would be doing some good, good work. He'd let his hands go, but then he would stop throwing them and he would just be content with fighting off of the back foot. And I did think there was a few times when he actually had Jamel Herring hurt, right? A little buzzed. I thought Herring got robbed of a knockdown though. Um, I don't remember what round it was, but I thought he got robbed of a knockdown because he did catch Roach coming in with a counter shot that the ref did not score. But Roach would get his revenge when he started to pick up the pace in the championship rounds from 10 to 11. And in the 11th round, man, he caught Jamel with a perfectly timed shot to the temple in the perfect spot and had Jamel Herring's legs like wobbly, almost looked like he was going to fall and lose his balance. But he wasn't able to score the knockdown and Jamel would go on to hold on and to win the fight. It was a closer fight than one of those scorecards came, but I thought if he was just more aggressive throughout that fight, probably would have came away with the win, in my opinion, but he just got slightly outworked most of the rounds, especially in the early part of that fight. He fought very nice against Rene Alvardo, who's always game. I mean, that man has a bunch of losses, but he's only been stopped once in those losses, so you know he's tough, you know he's durable, right? And he got the win. I was very impressed by Roach's defense in that fight though, man. He made him punch. He made Alvarado punch air a bunch of times in that fight. Looked very good from a defensive standpoint. Got a comfortable win. Easy fight to score in my opinion. In his most recent fight, he fought Angel Rodriguez. A very good evenly matched fight by far one of his best complete performances talking about Roach to to date in my opinion it was also a fight where we were seeing Roach fight off the front foot more in that fight right he was patient with his attack he might not have as I said this the the, the one punch knockout type of power but he does have good pop in his shots and he's accurate he's a precise puncher 
Roach didn't seem like he was respecting Rodriguez's power by any means, right? Because he was just walking forward. And when you don't respect your opponent's power, you got a little, you just get a little bolder and you take a little bit more risk and you let your hands go more because you're not really too worried about what's being fired back at you. And in that fifth round, he caught Rodriguez with a counter right shot to the temple that buckled his feet. But again, he wasn't able to secure the knockdown, but it was a great round for Roach, and it was a comfortable win in that fight. A very good, solid, complete performance, in my opinion. So this is going to be a good matchup, man. I think it's good matchmaking. The champion Garcia moved up to fight one of the biggest punchers in the sport, and he came up short, but put forth a good performance. Roach fought for the title once before when he fought Jamel Herring, and he will be looking to come out on top this time around, even if he hasn't fought in a year and some change. So who wins? First, we got to start and say, hopefully Garcia is back 100% healthy. I know after his tank fight, he was saying his vision was a little blurred when he fought Tank after Tank landed that shot on him. I think Roach is very skilled, very talented, and he can take over and win this fight. But he's going to have to let his hands go early. Some of the same confidence he had against Rodriguez in his last fight, he needs to take into this fight. But not too overconfident because Garcia has good power in his hands and he'll make you pay. But I like Hector Garcia to win this fight by decision because I believe he'll let his hands go a little bit more than Roach will. I think he'll take a little bit more risk and put together more combinations consistently throughout this fight. Roche needs to do more if he wants to get the win. He's great at what he does. When he's locked in, I like what he can do. But the judges are going to favor someone who is more of a volume puncher. And judges often like fighters who are going to fight off the front foot. And I think Garcia will be able to do that a little bit more than Roche. Of course, we'll see how it unfolds on fight night, but I like Garcia to win this fight by decision. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning this one? Let me know in the comment section below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a couple ways you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly appreciated. I don't always get to do all the suggested videos you guys suggest in the comment section below, but if you become a member, those suggested videos rise to the top and I will do my best to get those done for you. With all that being said, if you've been watching the video this time, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.